Assalamualaikum and good day. Today, we want to present our assignment that is Ping Pong Launcher Design Challenge. Hi, I am Novati Zati Binti Mat Sa'ad. We present about introduction projectile motion. The motion of object through a projector into the air subject to the only the acceleration of gravity. The motion of body object is a cover in problem solving basic of work. For one-dimensional kinematic, it is a simple one-dimensional type of projectile motion in which there is no horizontal movement. This assignment, Pimpong Launcher Design Challenge, requires us to be able to develop and construct the real launcher based on the projectile calculation to achieve the objective. The equipment such as Pimpong Ball, mechanism to launch the ball and the target area. Good day everyone, I am Tini Shunmugam and now I shall present to you about the mechanisms of the Pimpong Ball Launcher. So here are the list of materials and tools used to build this ping pong ball launcher and they are ping pong ball, rubber bands, meter ruler, vinyl caliper, styrofoam blocks, digital wing scale, variable size of boxes, tissue roll cardboard, satay stick, scissors and rulers. So this is the working principle of the launcher. First of all, load the ping pong ball at top of it and then pull the rubber band steadily. In this project, we have pulled around 7.5 cm while the initial length of the rubber is 4.5 cm and then release the stick at the same time at the right angle to have the correct launching. Next, I'm going to show you the demonstration video of this launcher. Assalamualaikum and hello, I am Nur Afika Aina Binti Zaham. We will explain about the calculation based on our projectile motion experiment. From our experiment, we can derive it into X axis and Y axis. First of all, we will look into the X axis first. We can use four basic formula because the X axis is constant. So we decide to use this basic formula because the value of total distance is given which is 1.5 meter. So we substitute the value of total distance and angle into the formula and we got the first equation which is V0 equal to 2.1067 over T. And then we will look for Y axis. The value of S and S0 is 0. So we substitute the value of angle and G into the formula and got the second equation which is 4.905 T square over equal V0 sin 44.6 times by T. Next, we substitute the first equation into the second equation to get the value of t. So, we got the t equal to 0.549 second to get the actual value of v0. We substitute the value of t into the first equation. So, it gives us v0 equal to 3.837 meter per second. So, next, we plot the graph of force against extension from this graph. We want to find the value of gradient. The value of gradient is same as the value of rubber constant. So we use formula k equal to y2 minus 1, 1 divided by s2 minus s1. So the value of k that we get is really 3.606 cm. And lastly, we are going to find the elastic elongation of the rubber. To find this elongation, we use energy equation which is v0 plus t0 equal to v1 plus t1. We can just cancel out t0 and v1 because there is no effect in initial kinetic energy and final potential energy. We put 2k because we use 2 rubber and then we substitute mass of ping pong which is 0.0033 kg and velocity that we get from the previous calculation which is 3.837 into the formula. So we get the value of x is 0.0213 meter or 2.13 centimeter. That's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. So my part is about method of analysis. For this project, we use one of the constant acceleration equation as shown on the above diagram. This equation is used to find the time taken for the ping pong ball to pass into the basket and initial velocity by the ping pong ball as it is projected to the air. Next equation is spring constant k. We need to calculate the spring constant k in order to use this value to find the elastic elongation x. A spring constant is a measure of a spring ability to resist compression and elongation. This value is also a measure of elasticity. The higher the elasticity, the lower the spring constant. 
Next equation is T1 plus V1 equal to T2 plus V2. If a potential energy can be associated with a force, we call it as conservative force. As we pull the rubber band before projecting the ping pong ball, there is potential energy stored in the system. But as we release the rubber band, the potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. Last equation is percentage error. It is equal to 6.63 minus 7.5 over 6.63 times 100 and equal to 13%. The last is relationship of percentage error and accuracy of result. The higher the percentage error, the lower the accuracy of result from the experiment. The factor lead to percentage error is the systematic error, such as parallax error happen when the position of ice is not perpendicular to reading scale. Next, incorrectly calibrated or tear instrument like a scale that doesn't read zero when nothing is on it. So that's all from me. In conclusion, the projectile motion of the ball follow a constant horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity that was consistent with the acceleration of gravity. The results show that both final, vertical and horizontal velocity can be calculated from the information of map in form ball, length and the angle that we get. To improve the data, a more precise of measurement tool with a more precise placement could have been used. To reduce of any air friction may be another way to improve the data. That's all from us. Thank you.